Dinosaur Neil, noted paleontologist and curator of Dinosaur Grotto, accidentally consumed one of his own experiments and quote unquote, went Jurassic. But now, instead of prehistoric fury and untold municipal destruction, it's wedding bells for Neil as he plans to marry the sister of the sidekick of the superhero responsible for ending the errant fossil finders rampage last year and restoring him back to normal, the Tick. Oh, Dot has nothing to fear, Arthur. I know full well the weighty duties of the best man, and I won't let her down. Ho, ho, ho! Surprise hug from Mr. Freaky Big! Oh. Now, teach me another one of those Yiddish words, chum. Why? Well, I've got to catch up. I only found out recently we're Jewish! Tick, we're not Jewish. I'm Jewish. Dot's Jewish. You're... I don't know, you're... you're bluish. Oh, mm, shalom, shalom, shalom. <laughs> You make a good meal for a monkey, Jerface. Yes, I'm particularly touched you didn't try to poison us. But what do you want? El Seed, proud tyrant over a flowering kingdom of vegetable villainy. And the breadmaster, the twisted baking genius who brought us the doomsday croissant. What if I told you that Dinosaur Neil will once again terrorize the city? But that this time, he'll be taking orders from us. Go on. I have stolen Dinosaur Neil's medical files. I know the secret of his monstrous transformation. In fact, I've had one of my men substitute his normal anti-growth medication with a little mixture of my own. The slightest bit of stress will trigger Neil's dinosaur genes. And what's more stressful than a wedding? <laughs> Incoming! Who the guests are arriving! Ushers, prepare to ush! Dick, I just remembered. We were supposed to hire a photographer. Worry not, well-dressed Avenger. The best man has it all under control. Really? You took care of it? Oh, no, Dick, that's great. Freeze! <gasps> Freeze! <gasps> Come on, hands over your heads! Against the wall, punk. <gasps> You hired a psychotic, gun-toting ex-vigilante to take wedding pictures? Rehab through photography, Arthur. He's trying to turn over a new leaf. Freeze! Oh, oh great. Here come my parents. Freeze! Oh. Hi, Ma. Dad. Ah, <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> this is, um... Ruth! Harry, I've heard so much about you! You introduced my daughter to this Neil character, right? Yup. I hear he gets big sometimes. Oh, yes. I've wrestled his tongue. Getting married, getting married, getting married, Neil. Yo! Neil, don't panic. You're just getting married! <laughs> What's wrong with my medication? Aha! Uh -huh. Plastic Neil, sadly a tilt. One more crisis averted. I... Huh? Wait a minute. 
That's not Neil. It's... That's right, Dick. It's the bedmaster. And this wedding cake is going to go off in two minutes. <laughs> Bad baker. I've pitted my stomach against your perilous pastry before. And won. And today will be no different. Hey, Arthur. What does this mean? What are you doing? The wedding cake is gonna explode! What? Wedding cake? Sam, never mind! The floral arrangement is eating deflator mouse! Wait, <laughs> Sam? Okay, prepare to be stemmed! Gad! The unholy fiend pollinated my rental tux! I'm a Oh! Reach for the sky! Nice shooting, big shot! There. The wedding cake! Big shot, give me a hand grenade! A what? <laughs> I don't have any... <laughs> Come on, man! I got a bun in the oven and it's about to blow! All right. All right. There. Are you happy now? <laughs> Everyone, find your seats. <laughs> The wedding is about to begin! Arthur, what's going on? My, no, my everything is fine. Just sit. Okay, okay, yes. okay, you're okay. Just calm down. Oh. Hi, Neil. Dick, I need your help. Easy, man. Watch the lapels. This frosting stain synthetics. <laughs> Listen to me! The pills I use to keep me human, they're not working. Uh, Tick, if anything happens... Here, I've been researching my condition, and I think I know how to cure it. I want you to hold on to my notes, okay? In case of bigness, check. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to witness the union of these two fine young people. <gasps> what happened to you? Uh, had to blow up the wedding cake. Just you word. what? Tick, I'm almost out of pills. Just relax, man. We're almost. <laughs> Holy Gavolt! Neil, Chairface has played wicked with your pills! What? What? I... 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 I'm sorry, honey! I'm trying to kick the violence thing, you know? But it's, it's so hard to change, to, to really change as a person. I hear you, man. Oh, Neil, come on! Thaw out those cold feet! Let's talk this over! <laughs> Mazel tov. Oh, say, uh, Neil gave me this. Let me see that. To whom it may concern, if you're reading this, then I'm probably destroying the city. After careful research, I've concluded that my dinosaur DNA has been mutating. I'm afraid that if I grow again, my medication will cease having an effect. Tick! Do you know what this means? Uh-huh. Now Neil's gonna have to rent his tux from Mr. Freaky Big. Tick! It means we can't just give him an aspirin and, 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 and call it a day. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Neil's written out a way to reverse the process. Okay, he says we need... Oh. A submarine. Okay, well, who's got a submarine? Wow, really? 
And 1,400 pounds of pungent raw meat. Anybody? Ooh, urchin? Where did you get all that stuff? Aw, same place as a tux. In the sewer. You'd be surprised what people throw away. It's definitely a treasure trove. This is Brian Panade with a special report. It's Dinosaur Neil Deja Vu. Evacuation of the city is underway as Neil, who you can see is bigger than ever, once again unleashes his inner reptile. A gentleman, I'd like you both to meet a longtime associate of mine and a specialist in perhaps the um, unluckiest of fields, the indigestible man. Eh? What did you mean, indigestible? <laughs> Try me. Indigestible man, would you be so kind as to fetch us our dinosaur? It would be my pleasure, Chairface. <laughs> this wedding stinks. I hope that's kosher! Supposed to get in the sub? Right? No, 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 Tick, wait, this is insane. No time for sanity, chum. We've got a hungry dinosaur on our hands. Looks like we're gonna have to pull an inside job. He's my fiance. I'm going to. Dot! I love it. I can't believe this. You know, this is beginning to feel a little familiar. Ah, looks like we're in the stomach. Officially eaten. What next? Okay, first we gotta get up the gastric cavity, through the digestive sphincter, and into the duodenum. Huh. A lot of big words, but what do I do? Dive deep and make a hard right. Check. Do you guys hear that? Yeah, I think your fiance's stomach acids are eating through the hull of our sub. Well, that looks kind of sphinctery, but the stomach's all closed up. The hull can't take much more of this. We better ram it. Hang on! Come on. Ah, but you see, no one knows his way around a body like the indigestible man. He'll make it to Neil's brain in half their time. He'll plug into our reptilian friend's motor control centers, and then we'll have the biggest flunky in the history of size! <laughs> <laughs> Neil says we should find a strand of swollen DNA at the base of his brain near his pituitary gland. We just have to destroy the dinosaur gene material, and then he'll start reverting to normal. Uh, I'm just not sure how to get to the brain from here. Huh? Here, let me take a look. Well, what if we drove the sub through the wall of this vessel into that spongy thing there, and, and then we drive through the spongy thing and out the other side, and all the way to this dog-shaped thing? What? Dick, you're talking about driving the submarine through the side of Neil's liver! We can't... But look at the size of it! He's big, we're tiny! Besides, maybe he doesn't really need it. He needs it, Dick! He needs it! Just drive! I'll figure it out.
Come in, Chairface. Come in, Chairface. Indigestible man here. In position. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Wonderful. I'm hooked into Neil's motor control and speech centers. I'm ready to take over at your signal. Oh, by all means. Thank you. <laughs> Citizens of the city, I, Chairface Chipperdale, have commandeered this magnificent body. Dinosaur Neil answers to my will now. So I'm sure you will agree. My will is law. <laughs> <laughs> Canny navigation, chum. We're at the doorstep of Neil's brain. Just be careful, Tick. Fear not. I'll handle his custard with the kiddiest of kid gloves. Hey, there's the swollen DNA, just like Neil said. Then we're set. Hey, there's a guy in his underwear living in Neil's melon. Tick, he must be the one who's doing this. Get him! Right, time to take a swim. You handle the dinosaur... Gene cleaning. Here's the dinosaur gene. Look upon my works, ye mighty and desperate. What are you gonna do? The only thing we can do. is so loopy. I'm heading for his sinuses. Then step on it, chum, and don't spare the mucus. And so, by the power invested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Thank you, Tick, Arthur, for all your help. You're welcome, newlyweds. And thank you for teaching us all that love is thicker than most bodily membranes, but not quite as sticky. And that a heart full of love is better than a body full of people. Verily, the feet that carry us in the heart's path today will be the feet that soak in the steaming brew of happiness tomorrow. In fact, those very same happy feet... Tick. Yes, chum? Stop hawking me a chinik. Huh? <laughs> it means stop talking so much. Oh, neat! Hey, Arthur. Naomi Shingle writes, Dear Tick, why does my grandmother always have to pinch my cheeks? Naomi, think like a grandmother. Through the miracle of life, you have a child. Then years pass and that child grows up, has a child of its own. You, Naomi Shingle. Your grandmother's one of the strongest links in that great chain of being we call humanity. And that's pretty boss. It's a wonder she isn't pinching everything in sight. <laughs>